Hello and welcome to this Optica University tutorial on how to create XSLT services in Web Methods version 9.7. In this tutorial, we'll be transforming our XML from one format to another. The original XML contains a list and items with all the data contained in attributes. The XSL contains code to transform the list and place the data in child elements. This is what the XML will look like after it's transformed. Notice how the information is presented with the root tag catalog, and the CD list now contains child elements for all the data. We will start by opening the Software AG Designer. Once it's open, you'll want to make sure that you're in the service development perspective. If you're not in the service development perspective, you can get there by going to Window, Open Perspective. If you don't see it in the list, click Other. Scroll down so you get to Service Development and press OK. Now we're ready to create the XSLT service. To do that, select the folder where you want to create the service, go to File, New, and go down to XSLT Service. Another way to do that would be to select the folder, right click with your mouse, go to New, and select XSLT Service. Now you'll be prompted to name your service. Select Next. At this point, you'll be prompted to select the XSL source. Select XSLT file and browse to the location of your XSL file to import. Select Open. Now you can see that it imported your XSLT code. Select Finish and the service will be created. Next, you'll want to create a flow service that calls your XSL service. Select your folder, right click, New, Flow Service, give it a name. and select Finish. Now simply drag and drop the XSLT service into the flow service. Now you can see the inputs and outputs of this XSLT service by selecting Pipeline. Here we can see the service inputs. XML data is a string variable that contains the entire XML to transform. XML URL contains the URL to the XML's location. File name contains the location of the file system to the XML. XML stream is an input stream to the XML to transform. And finally, node. An XML node is a special representation of an XML that can be consumed by the integration server. You can only specify one of these parameters. The other parameters are optional. XSL param input is a name value pairs to pass to the style sheet. Use compiling processor specifies whether to use the XLine compiling processor, which creates and uses compiled style sheets or translates. Load external entities specifies whether or not to load external entities, file URIs, HTTP URLs, and so on and encoding specifies a different type of encoding for your XML document. Next, let's take a look at the service outputs. Results is a string that contains the transform XML. XSL param output is a document that contains the name value pairs that were returned by the style sheet. Now we want to test our service. To test our service, we'll use an XML string. So let's copy XML data and go to the input output tab and paste it in as a service input. Save your service. Now we're ready to run the service. Go to the menu bar, run, run as, and run flow service. You'll be prompted to enter a value for the XML data input variable. 
you want a bigger editor, you can click on the button with the three dots. Paste in the XML. Select OK. OK. And now we can inspect the results. To inspect the results, double click the results tab to make it full screen. Select the results variable and then select all, copy, you can paste it in a text editor and then what we want to do is format it. Now you see your XML. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. For more information, visit us at www.optica.com.